Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it is a cold and windy Saturday here in Southeast Georgia. Um, I decided to take advantage of it and come out here and uh, put together a video basically describing the infancy of this YouTube channel dabble that I'm getting into. I kind of want to give you guys a, a behind the scenes uh, of what I've been doing, uh, how I've been doing it. Anyways, I'm your host, Chris Cottrell, and you're watching The Dabbler's Dead. The equipment that I'm using right now and how I'm how I'm filming and how I'm editing and and really just the things that I'm doing at this moment right now to put together these uh, these videos for this YouTube channel uh, I do not um, claim to be a professional what, by any means um, I'm not even sure if I'm a good resource uh, so let me start off by talking about the actual video recorder um, I'm using my cell phone after my daughter was born I decided to uh, you know I was gonna be taking a lot more videos and uh, I went out and I bought the uh, iPhone 6S Plus. It's an amazing phone. It's, it's an amazing at, uh, at capturing videos and pictures. For video, I could take up the 4K resolution video. Um, I don't know when I ever will, but uh, it's good to know that I can. Before that, uh, I had this cell phone. Um, this is a Motorola uh, Droid Razer Max HD. I could have sold this, you know, I could have sold it for a hundred bucks somewhere around there. I decided to hold on to it, and I'm really glad that I did. It's a little older, but it still takes great video and pictures. Um, it's taking, you know, high definition 1080p shots with this camera. Um, I, I have 64 gigabytes in this phone, um, as I do with the, with the uh, I, iPhone. Uh, it's got a great battery on it. Um, it's, it's, you know, worth me keeping just for taking additional videos and, and uploading additional videos. So I'm glad I kept it and I, I definitely plan on using this more in the future, uh, maybe, maybe for some more risky shots. Now a few of the things that I have learned uh, from using that camera so far um, you know, one of the one of the benefits of that camera is that it has um, cinematic video stabilization. The very first time I ever took this camera out and used it for footage was uh, where when I took Lila out to Jekyll Island and we uh, went hiking. And it's very shaky, so I started researching it and come to find out um, I was using the forward, like the screen side camera, to take a lot of that video and. That does not have the cin cinematic stabilization on it. Uh, so I have to start learning to use the, the forward facing camera uh, for when I'm taking my videos. You know, that's how I'm gonna get my best shots and that's how it's going to eliminate a lot of that shakiness. So um, I'm glad I found that out and uh, the, video the videos are only gonna get better. So one of the first things I bought with my phone uh, was, you know, first of all, I got a, a, a decent case. I wanted to get a waterproof case. Uh, however, the waterproof cases are so big and bulky, and but I do, you know, go kayaking and things like that. So having some form of water protection is important. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. Um, it's I think from a company called Kona, and uh, super. It's just a pouch, and I and I can open it up, drop my phone in there. Um, I did make sure that I got one that would fit both my phones, 
lock it together, and there you have it. I mean, it's it's in there. It's nice and waterproof, um, and you can still you know you can still touch the buttons and, and get everything to work on the inside of this case. So it's waterproof. I can hang it from my neck if I needed to, um, and and again, it's just one more added you know safety precaution. So. I've got that. I know that I'm going to be out overnight, you know, on a camping trip or something like that. I always make sure I carry this, uh, even if I'm out hunting. Um, I make sure I have a backup battery for my cell phones. For Christmas this year, my mom actually got me this selfie stick. Uh, come to find out, she got it from the Dollar Tree. She paid one dollar for this selfie stick. Um, it's not the best in the world. One thing, one thing about being a dabbler is I've learned over time. Um, I never want to go out and buy the most expensive thing on the market uh, because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. I'm not sure if it's going to be something that I'm going to stick with. Uh, so something like this is, is great to have. Um, and again, it cost $1 and it was a gift. <laughs> so just a clip alone, I've seen for almost $10 online. So, so for $1 and this thing extends out and, you, and it pulls bands, just clips right in there, holds it tight, and I can take whatever I wanted to. Um, you know, take pictures of Lila and I as we were walking around, whatever. Uh, but this thing right here, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not the best in the world, but to get started, uh, it's perfect. I went out and bought two more of these. Uh, these two, actually, uh, about two more of these just for the clips. You might want to check your Dollar Tree, see if you have anything like this there. Speaking of selfie sticks, this right here has been one of the uh, best investments that I've had. Um, this is actually a rifle shooting rest. Uh, if you're walking through the woods, uh, you see something out there, uh, you can you know, pop this open, they extend out, um, and you just basically stick it on the ground, you set your rifle right here. This basically is a monopod. Not only is it a monopod, but you can stick it right into the ground. It's got a uh, sharp point so that you can actually stick it right in the ground and, um, and use it as a monopod. And it gets even better than that because this rest unscrews Revealing a, a 1 4th 20 mount. Uh, this is standard. Just about anything that I have, I could screw right onto it. Right here, this, this mount screws right onto it. Screw right on. And now I have a, you know, a monopod. I stick it right in the ground and, and I'm ready to go. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Being a dabbler, anything, anything that I could find that has multiple purposes, I love it. I love it. I love things like that. And I love to be able to, to put things together from other dabbles for similar purposes. You know, this, this right here uh, is a great tool for me to have. Um, very, very, very useful. Okay, for the next two mounts, um, I, I, I want to mention a website uh, called uh, chargercity.com. Um, I ordered these next two mounts online. I just ordered them from Amazon. I just didn't really care where they were coming from. Uh, just, just uh, you know, I found two that, that had a good price. They served the function that I was looking for. And, um, and uh, you know, I was really happy with, with the service uh, from, from this particular company, you know, from chargercity.com. Uh, so much so, that I thought it was worth me sharing uh, and worth you hearing about uh, ChargerCity.com. They, they're doing a great job. And the best part about it, when, when the orders came in, they both included one of these uh, micro SD memory card readers. Uh, and, and at the time, I wasn't sure what, even what it was. I had to, I had to look it up. I, I was like, what is this? You know, they threw it in there for free. Uh, it didn't cost me anything. And I have a feeling that this is going to become a very useful piece of equipment for me, mainly because this camera right here has a micro SD memory card in there. It's got, you know, 32 gigabytes of memory right there on this card. And I'll be able to pull it out, stick it right into this, and pop it into the computer. Or even better yet, pop it right into my, my iPhone and download the video from this phone right into the, uh, the video port for, for that phone. And I'll be able to incorporate right into the editing and everything that I've been doing. I can't guarantee though that they, they include them with all of their orders. Um, all I can say is, uh, you know, I've ordered two mounts from them and each mount came uh, with one of these readers in them. I, I saw this mount, I really liked it. Again, I found it on Amazon. I was just looking for, um, not necessarily selfie sticks, I was just looking for, for uh, ways to carry the camera to give me a more stable shot. Uh, and I came across this. Again, you just pop it right in there. And, and it gives you something to hold on to. It gives you something to, to, to keep steady as you're filming. 
Um, I, I, I love it. It also, you could use it as a selfie stick. It's just far enough away where you can hold it out and take pictures of you. And, you know, Lila and I, when we're hiking, um, it's com comfortable to hold. I, I, I've liked it. And the best thing about this thing, well, two, two best things about it. First thing is that it was only like $15. Being a dabbler, I want something that's inexpensive and I want something that has multiple purposes. And this serves both. Um, I can screw my mount that I had right into it. Perfect. Um, and then again, this thing right here, multiple multiple purposes. I can use this as a tripod as well. Just fold it out. It's like a transformer. And all now I have a tripod that I can set up and you know record myself, whatever. Um, and, and you know I can set it on my car, my truck, film footage. I can set it on the ground, get different different uh, shots. Um, so this piece of equipment has been great. Uh, I, I highly recommend this to anybody. Um, go ahead and look it up on ChargerCity.com. You know, again, for $15, free shipping, you can't beat that. You can't beat it at all. Um, the mounts itself, I think on, uh, at, on Charger City, I think they're like 4 or $5. Um, shipped to your door for free, that's totally worth it. Like I said, I got mine at uh, the Dollar Tree for $1. Um, but to get one shipped to your house, to your front door for 4 or 5 bucks. Um, throw it in the cart, you know, get one of these, throw it in the cart, and, uh, and you're good to go. You know, this, is, this has been a great piece of equipment. All right, so this is the second mount um, that I got from ChargerCity.com. This is an adjustable mount. Uh, I really needed something that could be used everywhere. I've had it mounted to the scope of my rifle. Uh, I've mounted it to the um, rear view mirror of my truck. Uh, it just has lots and lots of purposes. I showed you how it's mounted to my light rack for, for my little studio here for filming. Um, so this thing right here is really, really uh, great. Uh, you basically take you know, your camera and it just, like I said, with the same mount that I've used for everything else, just pop it right in there, it's good to go. And um, basically anything that has a diameter, here's the first click right there. So, uh, you know, if you have anything this big or smaller, uh, it works out great. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfectly circular. Like I said, I've mounted it to a rear view mirror. It flattened it out and it was just enough. Um, I actually hang it upside down from the, from the rear view mirror and, um, and get footage that way. When I had it mounted to my rifle, um, I basically had the mount, uh, the scope here, and just turn it, and uh, there you go, you're good to go, you know. So this uh, this has been a very useful piece of equipment for me. Look them up, ChargerCity.com. Uh, they've been great, very quick shipping. Uh, they had it sent to me real quick. Plus, you know, with that free micro SD reader, uh, you know, best prices I found, uh, free shipping. Um, it's it's but they've been great. So so look them up, look them up, and uh, and uh, you know, give them a shot. So that's that. You know, I, I I don't have a lot of money invested in this equipment. Less than fifty dollars. Uh, you know, minus the uh, the cost of the of the cell phone, the camera. But uh, you know. This, this, has been, this has been fun for me, putting this stuff together, you know, using the equipment. I do feel kind of goofy walking around filming myself, uh, you know, holding out selfie sticks. Uh, I feel more comfortable when I have my daughter with me, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is fun. But um, uh, I'm getting used to doing it and, and it's been a lot of fun. So <laughs> it's cold. I'm sure my nose is red, it's runny. It's, I gotta go inside and get warmed up. Um, once again, I'm Chris Cottrell, and, and you've been watching The Dabbler's Den. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this snapshot of one of my life's many adventures. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This channel is a work in progress, so I would appreciate constructive feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Cottrell, you've been watching The Dabbler's Den, and bottom line YouTubers, 
Just get out there and do something.